viewers and subscribers what a uh, a blessed and wonderful sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media now my peeps you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning we have to give thanks and praise to the most high creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest and to all of the ones and ones them out there traversing the streets heading out to church this morning please remember on the spot news media it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers you definitely see how jamaica run right and now so you know for sure so we need that now more than ever and to all of the regular members of chan public out there that going about your lawful business continue to stay safe whilst you travel on the gravel but as always my peeps continuously look out on the corner yeah because what the old dirty corner boy them always out there a lurks yeah man so over there in the most volatile parish we are talking about the parish of saint james officer yeman pick and team has been deployed over there and has demand them land a clam 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 yeah man the boy nesta gallimore otherwise known as zado food get niam yeah man so Zada was among three who was taken out in a hail of bullets during a daring confrontation with the police in the parish yesterday afternoon. The police have reported that three illegal firearms also have been seized by them. So along with Gallimore, it is understood that his second in command was also taken out during that joint police military operation in the Spot Valley area of Barretown, St. James. The police stated that the three men who was taken out by them in a hail of bullets have been linked to more than 10 knockings and clappings that has resulted in the loss of life of some people. So on Monday of this week, the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force issued a warning and tells Zado say, yo, this are the last warning 
before the canning. Yeah, man. So Zado never heed to the warning and spread out like sheet, dirt settings, slapway has been the order of the day. So for those of you watching on the Spot News Media right now, I want to send a serious message to the others. <laughs> yeah, man. We are talking about the boy with them call Papi in this presently on your screen. And we are talking about the criminal element, the old dirty kind of boy with them call Broken. And the next one known as Greedy. I hope you know, say, yo, a phone number I go play next. And the number where I go play, guess a which number? For all of the Japan people, them, the Cashpot people, them, I'm pretty sure you know, no say, a number three I go play for them all dirty kind of boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So now that Zado is no longer among the land of the living, Zado has narrowed down to just a shadow. Yeah, man, a little old dirty kind of spirit in the streets right now. Now the police have time to shift them focus to Papi, Broken, and him brother known as Greedy. <laughs> yeah, man. So watch this now, my peeps. I'm about to give you an update of the triple knockings and clappings that took place Friday night in the Rohampton community of St. James. That community has come under heavy pressure from criminal elements plaguing the regular members of Chan Public and that war a stem from the Mount CLM war in St. James. So the Mount CLM war there has spread like a wildfire. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about a fire too from that same Mount CLM war. Now that Mount Salem war, as I stated earlier, has spread like a wildfire till it reached way around one place around so known as Rohampton District. Now the knockings and clappings were going on Friday night is a retaliation for the one we're going on Wednesday night. So on Wednesday night, as I stated before in previous vlogs, two men end up lose them three pints in that brutal onslaught. <laughs> yeah, man. Now the two men them will end up lose them three pints. One presently on your screen who has since been identified as Tavar Doman, known as Tavi or Ravers in the streets. The next man presently on your screen who has since been identified as Linston Anderson, known as blocks in the streets now on friday night the man them wappy upon the same spot same yard where them two man they end up get dirt and dirt three more man yeah man may i tell you the man them deal with the situation grimy now the man them will end up lose them three pints is 38 year old conroy lawrence otherwise known as beanie in the streets the shopkeeper known as chevan garden presently on your screen but more affectionately called in the community as kong and the next man, a big man, a taxi operator known as Carlesley Morris, otherwise known as Shooter in the streets because he's a man we stepping at the gas. Well, hard we get to understand. Yeah, man. But the thing about all of this, you know, Kang and the man we known as Conroy Lawrence, the man they never get caught up, you know, the man they end up get chop up yeah man because we get to understand say the knackis and clappies them come and when them pop off the chops and out for knock it and clap it upon the man them the chops stick so the man them draw for the 28 machete and just start work it upon the two man them here so the man them deal with the situation grimy a certain type of way but the 50 year old taxi man known as shooter in the streets him get can up though because of him first the man them rock and pop off and start tack it pan but by the time them reach for knock it and clap it pan beanie and pan kang the chaps stick and the man them just start work the 28 and deal with the situation grimy so the triple were go on friday and the double were go on wednesday 
all five persons are related said to be cousins some second some first cousin some second cousin type of thing but they are all blood related what a piece of saltness do a lad pan that the family there poor i mean tell them my peeps the thing rough and still in the parish of saint james the man them go bond down the whole up a crawford street and left a portion to families out of a dwelling home presently so a total of eight persons to include three children have been left homeless after fire partially gutted two structures in close proximity to each other and all of that go on friday now you see them people there we get burn out my peeps they are all related to a criminal element known as Butty. Well, Butty, a one of two men, we end up lose them three pints up in the Mount Salem there. One of the first double knockings and clappings when time the big war jump off. What do you hear? So, this is Butty presently on your screen. Yeah, man. So, you know, say from Butty, people them house, Bundung, we all know where that bundong business a come from because butty is rivals with broken so you know say so right there so the jump off go on so if you're just tuning into on the spot news media you need to go watch the mount salem videos them so you can catch up and understand the dynamics of how things really are go right and now this war they far far from ending unless officer yeman pick and team can hold on pan broken broken brother and the old dirty kind of boy with them call puppy yeah man and last the brother there with them call short man make sure say short man get 25 or 35 to life even though what they are short man get bail if you come out and smile and yell and refuse the bail yeah man because he's a darn coward because the old dirty kind of boy shot man you know him well and know and fully understand say right and now him safer behind bars because nobody now come jump no fence and run through no shotty and come can him up in him too much in his head so him declined the bail and say right now i rather stay at jail so he's presently behind bars giving orders from behind bars for continue to carry out these brutal and slats and knockings and clappings on the regular members of Chan Public. Now people of Montego Bay, Montegonians, yeah man, are so no one for live. All dirty criminal elements are so no one for live. Uno just want go down in a history book as a tap knackis and clappis, pitch up on wall and everybody chat about uno for probably about three or four days can nobody now go waste them breath and chat about uno till nine days. Nine days too much because by the third or even the second day, another story I go take over for uno one. And uno instantaneously I go become steel news. Yeah man. So right and now my peeps, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.